Ja wird mir alles stehen, ich will January 2021, in his own words for Black QTV, True Junglist. Yeah, go so man. So how did you get the name Joe Dog? Well, actually I get that name Joe Dog. You see, I was eating my dinner, right? And my granny had a dog named Tarzan. And my, this is a big steel job. And the dog, all of it, I'm trying to take it away from him. And he beat me and I beat him back. My granny said, hey, dirty dog. So my cousin them to grow up in a big family yard. My cousin them start to tease me and that's the way the name start. Stick. To my ability, my fame, you know, and the struggling in the ghetto. In the criminal activity. And the worst thing that you couldn't take up now, especially the gun. Cause it's two things. I'm a grandmaster, so I can talk. It's two things end up once you take up the gun. Either the, either a dead house or prison. When you're in prison, you're a dead man anyway, because four grey walls surround you. Couldn't avoid the lifetime, because you see, I used to love good clothes. I used to like good food. You know what I mean? So, my mother couldn't afford it. So, Lord, what the whole of them people are there? So, what are going back? Cut, cut there, cut. Cut, Lord, fuck this man. Yeah, but 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 me are going in debt. In debt, me are going in on my lot. Yeah, me know my people. Them, but uh, anyway, go on, cuz. So I have a choice. Looking back from then to now, if I could have lived over my life, I would have been, I would have stayed in school, get a good education, get get a decent job. But that never did. That never. I never worked from the day I born. Place. When it was growing up, it was no politics. It was more, more tribalism. So the bigger men um, were bigger than me, and I say, well, I look up as role model. They started to decide our life. Politics, they got the money, they got the police, they got the power. So I have to choose. So you and Bob Marley were friends? Bob Marley, uh, Bob Marley wasn't a politician. Bob Marley is a man that deals with everybody from every walks of life. You know what I mean? Especially Trenchstone. Because that's where you get the information, inspiration from. After they shoot up Bob Marley, I was amongst Bob Marley. Where was you when he got shot? And how, 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 how did it affect you? How did you feel? Well, it affected me because Bob Marley really was a Trenchstone man. And, you know what I mean? The thing about they get paranoid, it's all about politics. So the thing about that, I end up starting being amongst Bob, you know what I mean? Every day with my double action 45, because we never wasn't going to make it repeat. What caused you to be killed? <coughs> All right, uh, that's right, don't get it, they killed my mom. Right, it was an internal affair. It was an internal affair. They murdered my mom. I ended up killing about nine of them. And then JLP was, was in power. Cause, but it wasn't JLP who killed my parents, it was an internal affair. I killed about nine of them. You know, because my mom. I, 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 don't, I don't have no regard on that. I don't regret that because my mom. You know what I mean? So where did you go when you left Jamaica? I, well, I, I, leave, I didn't even go to England. I wasn't going to repeat that because I, I just ran out and lose my mom. I lose my mom through that, that bollocks. So when I go to England, I saw the rest of man like Nap and Reddy Gods. And all of those men, you know and I mean, I meet some terrible youth like myself, and we all have respect for each other. So I take a, I take a different line, because I decide, say, I gotta choose my life. All my life, politics and, and, and gangism was ruling my life. I never really do take, take to the Yardy company. And certain people like, was my friend, like Bobby Dog, and, because there was the hardcore street youth, them, uh, crucial, and them youth there. And most of the yard men them was in farmers, the police them all because they don't want to come home. You know what I mean? They started to sing over a cup of tea. Was it a cultural shock for you? Like, yeah. You've been leaving Jamaica. No, but you see why you see too, I was born as a British subject. Cause when I was born, when I was born, Jamaica was ruling on the, the Union Jack. 
So in the 60s, Jamaica was like England. You know what I mean? Law and orders and things. You know what I mean? You could go in the store and take anything and you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I mean? Jamaica, so I have that culture. So when I go to England, I could have really adjust. You know what I mean? Because I was good at what anything I do, I was good at it. You know what I mean? That's why I could live that's why I could live now to be a grandmaster. But so that's how you survive when you're in England. Well, I survived, yeah, well, that's the way I survived, you know what I mean? I just grabbed Jack's pusher. I was being deported three times from the United Kingdom. Cause I, was in, I could have been in England, but I, never, I couldn't work with the feds, you know what I mean? Because they were just giving away citizenship. I job for political asylum, because I really and truly, you know, my life was in real danger, you know what I mean? But they didn't give me, because I was working with them. Mm. The next generation to follow. I grew up hearing of the names that you've been calling yeah. from long, long, long time. So. Yeah. Well, Claude Mashup, Jim Brown, me and them, me and them was used to be in shootouts and things like that. All of those men, all of them dead. Tony Welch was my commander officer. I, you know what I mean? He was the first one to give me an M16 rifle. I never get my gun from politician. I used to take them and go and rob, my, uh, rob security and police and take their gun. You know what I mean? But the first gun I got from politician was an M16. Okay. And all of those men, all of the men them from in the 60s, dead left me. All of them dead left me. Well, I know God have me for some reason. How many attempts on your life have you survived? All my life. And then I did many, many attempts. Both my mom and me. And my whole family. Looking back at your life, did you expect it to turn out the way it turned out? Well, I never expected to live to 16. But when, you, when you're in the street, <coughs> you have to be loyal to your friend, respect people and respect your enemy. You know what I mean? Don't underestimate nobody. And that's what keeps me alive and I learn from most of my friends and mistake. Well, to be a grandmaster and an old fox, I must be blessed. Because I was, I was growing, it's two things I don't love in life. I don't believe in go with a man. I don't believe in informer. I don't believe in bad-minded. I never envy a man, you know what I mean? Because I know my ability. If I want something, I'm going for it. Just like if a, if a man try for my life or a man kill my friend, I'm going for him, I will get him. And I always get them. From the age of 10 year old, walk with some dangerous man, all of those men dead. Some old fox, like, some old fox, and the whole of them dead. Well, I live to be 66, so I must bless. So you, so you know... All well, all the world is to the youth them now, right? The youth them. Because once you take up that gun and start to take life and fire gun, there's no turning back. You know what I mean? If you want to turn back, you got to migrate and change your life. But once you start to kill, especially the man who killed enough, that one in the day in the community, I love the bollocks. Because we are one village and one family. So I want to say to the youth, the youth them now, ooh, I can't say to the man who must start, because when I start, nobody could tell me nothing. See, don't take that road. It's not a pretty road. All of my friends are dead. Over nearly 3,000 of them. It's easy to be bad, but it's hard to be good, and I'm trying to be good. They all the, you know, youth stay. They want to know they run in the ground, but they ain't running no ground. They run in for a casting out of prison. You know what I mean? That's what they're fucking running for. You know what I mean? Because most of you know your friend today, and tomorrow I'll kill you. What? You know what I mean? Friends, you must stick together and loyal. You, you build a community, you don't master up the community. You don't exploit the people in the community. You know what I mean? And next thing I come and see Jamaica. Jamaica, most of them get the community inoculated now, with lesbian and sodomite. People do what they want to do. I don't against people what they do what they want to do. I do what I want to do. You know what I mean? But a different kind of culture. Things were never accepted in my time, accepted now. The good ones who want to live, live as long as me, they always ask me, Joe, you live so long. I said, listen to this, loyalty, man. And respect, I don't underestimate the man. The day you underestimate the man, that's the day he's a dead man. Because a fool can kill you. I remember I grew up on a Rasta culture, you know what I mean? So Rasta, always respect Rasta, peace and love. But once you cross me, I have to bullet you. Call life nice and enjoy life. 
but it was the way of life at the time. You know what I mean? Well, that's the loyalty I used to have. My friend didn't never have that loyalty, but I did. And that's what keep me alive, really. You know what I mean? Well, well, uh, well most men know I'm a legend. I'm a grandmaster. Well, I end up to be a grandmaster. But to me, it was a load of bollocks.